On Yud Gimel Elo, 18 years ago, our lives lit up with the birth of our daughter Efrat. Already from a young age, Efrat was an inspiration. Her charismatic personality endeared everyone close to her, especially amongst her friends and teachers in Bet Yaakov Atere Torah. Besides these character traits, Efrat excelled in all her subjects, especially in Limude Kodesh. Subsequently, Efrat was honored as valedictorian. In the summer of 2018, in Chodesh Menachem Av, our world was turned upside down with the devastating news that Efra has been diagnosed with AML leukemia. Efra immediately began very painful and debilitating treatments, which included chemotherapy, surgeries, a bone marrow transplant, and trial novel medications. These treatments left her very weak, very nauseous, and in constant pain and with an uncertain future. Through all this though, Efrat's Imuna strengthened as she developed a much closer and deeper connection with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and not the contrary. During Efrat's third and final relapse, towards the end of her life, I asked her a question, not expecting an answer. I asked her, Efra, what do you make with all the pain and all the suffering which you're going through and the unknown future? To that she answered, Abba, I've come to learn that a person's life is not measured by the quantity of years which he has. Rather, a person's life is measured by his achievements, by his accomplishments, which he's accomplished in the time that Hashem has given him in this world. That's the type of girl Efrat was. During Efrat's battle, she was approached by the Make-A-Wish Foundation, granting her any wish she may desire. Efrat's immediate response was to have a Sefer Torah written in her zechut. Due to Efrat's passing, unfortunately, her wish cannot be honored. And Efrat's passing is not just a personal loss for me and my family. Rather, it's a loss for all of Klal Yisrael because Efrat was all about spreading Torah. However, through your generosity, Efrat's legacy will live on. This campaign is all about fulfilling Efrat's dying wish, and that is to have a Sefer Torah written in her schut. It's also about Efrat's living wish, and that is to spread Torah as much as possible. The Gemara Masechet Sanhedrin teaches us, which means anyone who teaches their friend's child Torah it's as if they gave birth to that child. Although Efrat wasn't Zochet to have children of her own, Efrat's grandfather, Rabbi Egal Haimel Shlit of Vision, is to establish and maintain a woman's Torah center for the young women of the community, a place where they will be taught the laws and the values of Shalom Bayit, Chinuch Abanim, Ta'arat HaMishpacha, Yahadut, Hashkafa, the laws of keeping a kosher kitchen, everything they need to know in order to build a true kosher Jewish home. These Talmidot will be considered Efrat's children. My friends, please partner with us to fulfill Efrat's wishes and to bring Efrat's legacy to life. Thank you.